mass to volume stoichiometry. If you know the mass or the concentration and volume of a substance, you're able to work out the number of mole of that substance. You then use the mole relationship using your balanced chemical equation to calculate the mole of the unknown substance and from there you can calculate the mass or the concentration or volume of the unknown depending on what you're looking for. Let's look at an example. What mass of zinc will be required to completely react with 50 ml of hydrochloric acid of concentration 2.00 molar? Step one is to write your balanced chemical equation. So we know that we have zinc reacting with hydrochloric acid. This is an acid base reaction. So our products are going to be a salt plus hydrogen gas. In this case, it will be zinc chloride. This is balanced. So we can then move on and write down the information that the question tells us. We know that there's 50 ml of hydrochloric acid. Remember, your volume always has to be in litres. And the concentration is 2.00 molar. We're trying to work out and calculate the mass of zinc, which will react with this hydrochloric acid. And we know the molar mass of zinc. So knowing V and knowing C, we're able to calculate the number of mole using N equals C times V. So N equals 2 times 0 0.05, which equals 0 0.1 mole. We now use the 0 0.1 mole and look at the mole ratio between the hydrochloric acid and the zinc. 2 mole of hydrochloric acid reacts with 1 mole of zinc. So number of mole of zinc will either unknown over known times the number of mole of hydrochloric acid. So we've got 1 over 2 times 0 0.1 mole, which we got from here, and that equals 0 0.050 mole. I always like to look at this point to check. 2 to 1, this is 0 0.1, so this has to be less. It has to be a half. Yes, it is. So we can move on. Now that we know the number of mole of zinc, we can then calculate the mass of zinc using N times M. So mass of zinc equals 0 0.05 times 65.4, and the mass of zinc equals 3.27 grams. At this point, again, look back at your question and check. I'm looking for the mass of zinc mass of zinc, I've worked out the mass of zinc. Here's a question for you to have a go at. Pause the video, have a go, I'll put up the answers and then I'll work through the solution. So the answer to A, the mass of magnesium oxide equals 2.0 grams and the mass of magnesium chloride in B will equal 4.8 grams. If you got these right, you don't need to watch any more of the video. I'm going to run through the work solutions in case you'd like to see those. So here's our question, and the first thing we need to do is look at the important information. We're given our chemical equation, so that bit's done for us. So let's have a look. I've got 2.00 molar of hydrochloric acid with a volume of 50 ml. So there's my concentration and there's my volume of my known substance. Unknown is my magnesium oxide. And I'm trying to calculate the number of mole of magnesium oxide. I know the molar mass of magnesium oxide. I also know the molar mass of hydrochloric acid by looking at the periodic table. So I write those down. So with this information here, I've got a C, I've got a V, I can now work out my number of mole, which is C times V, which will equal 0 0.1 mole. I now use this number of mole that I've just calculated, and I look at the mole ratio. Two moles of hydrochloric acid reacts with one mole of magnesium oxide. So my mole ratio of unknown over known will be 1 over 2. So a half times 0 0.1 mole, which I worked out before. So the number of mole of magnesium oxide equals 0 0.05 mole. 
I can use that 0 0.05 mole now. I've got the molar mass. So mass will equal number of mole times molar mass, which will equal 2 grams. Look back at my question and check that this is what I'm trying to find out. The mass of oxide, the mass of oxide, and I've calculated the mass of oxide. Part B, what mass of magnesium chloride would be produced? So now I'm trying to figure out the mass of the magnesium chloride. I already know the number of mole of hydrochloric acid and I've already calculated the number of mole of magnesium oxide. Now you can use either of these to calculate the, the amounts of magnesium chloride. The easiest way is though, there's a one-to-one -one ratio here between the magnesium oxide and the magnesium chloride. So make life easy for yourself. Use this same number of moles because it's one-to-one. -one. So the number of moles of magnesium chloride equals 0 0.05 mole. You know your molar mass from looking at the periodic table. So mass equals number of mole times molar mass, which equals 4.8 grams. The mass of magnesium chloride, that's what I've calculated, so that's your answer.